30 Rock. Hmm. Stories I could tell about this place. Eh, nobody wants to listen to me anymore. Oh, Mr. Bright, hmm? I would love to hear about the good old days. Well, different back then, I'll tell you. Yes, sir, boy, they were classy. Yeah, yeah, well, we didn't have any of those shirts with words on them or dungarees or anything like that. No, sir. Men came to work, ties and hats. Yeah. So yeah. elegant. Yeah. And you had tailor-made suits and a little place here for a little carnation in your lapel. <laughs> and an inside monogram pocket, you know, for your opium pipe and your switchblade. I'm sorry, what now? Say, why don't you show me around the old studio? Okay. okay. Oh, sir, hmm? you're back. Well, I never left, uh, actually. Uh, I just wandered around the building all night. I didn't run into another single living soul, except one gigantic lesbian. Who is Conan O'Brien, and why is she so sad? Oh, whoa, well, whoa, well, look at, there I am. Oh, is that really you? Yeah, me and the boys, yeah. Boy, men were men back then, I'll tell you. You wanted to do something private with another man, it wasn't gay, no. It's just two men celebrating each other's strength. Well, when we sobered up, we realized we'd eaten the peacock and we put the ham in Pat Weaver's office. <laughs> Mr. Bright. Huh? With all due respect, I can't listen to this anymore. I love television, sir, and you are ruining it. I love television, too, but I'm gonna tell you something. If you're gonna make something beautiful, you gotta make a mess of it first. I don't care whether you're making an omelet, a baby, or, or a television show. Things are gonna get weird. Well, I'm afraid the biz has changed since your time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to Chinatown to pick up some human growth hormones so that Mr. Jordan's tigers don't realize that he's aging and... Oh, my. Hey, there's your weird.